Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm doing a review of an email app called Acropro, especially after Google Inbox had millions of subscribers and users, and it's now stopped and discontinued as of April 2019. So, why have I chosen Acromail Pro? It's a few dollars, but it's well worth the money, but you can try it out for free. Uh, the reason I've chosen it, it's fast, reliable, one of the highest rated apps on the Play Store. I just had uh, another update as of April this year. Um, I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, it works with pretty much anything you can throw at it, from Hotmail to uh, Yahoo Mail to Outlook, etc., etc. I'll go into more details. I've used a screen recorder, so there is a little clock on the left to give me an indication of time. I didn't want it to go on too long. And if you've enjoyed this video and found it of some use, please tick the subscribe button, it helps me enormously. And please note, this is not paid for by Acromel in any way whatsoever. Unfortunately, I wish it was, but it isn't. And if you have any comments or would like me to go into much more details on this app, please let me know because you can use it very simply as a straightforward email app, or you can use any of the 200 plus settings uh, which really gives you complete control over this email. So, uh, without any further ado, I'm switching over now to the screen recorder. Hi, so now I'm going to talk about Acromail in a bit more detail. It's the go-to email app on my Android phone that I have chosen. I've tried about 10 to 15 over the last 18 months. Every so often I try new ones or ones that have been updated to see if they're any better. But I always seem to end up on this one. It's a fantastic email app. It, uh, it's very fast. I use the word very secure. I'm going to add a disclaimer. As far as I know, it's very secure. And there's millions of very happy uh, customers on this app that have given it four or five star reviews. It's one of the highest rated email apps out there. It's just got an update this month. It is frequently updated and making it better each month as well, which is great news. Um, and what else can I talk about? It works, as you can see, with Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, Hotmail, IMAP, Pop3, Exchange. Um, you can make it as simple as you want, or you can use any of the uh, 200 odd settings. It will back up and restore your settings to Dropbox or Google Drive uh, and so on and so on. Um, it uses Outlook Exchange if you want, so it will sync your calendar and contacts. The formatting, as I uh, will go into a bit more detail, it's one of the few that will allow you to use what's called text reflow, and I'll show you that. Um, the free version allows you to have, I think, two free accounts. However, it, uh, they do put the message saying it's sent from Aquamel at the end of each message. Um, two free accounts, and I think that's about it. And of course, it's got ads. So the paid one is the way to go. So I will open up an email app, uh, one that I don't use much, so, so there's nothing to security on that. And here's one of the settings that you get auto automatically when you open it up. You've got a, uh, the first thing, look and feel, let me go through that. Color themes, anything you want you can do. Excuse the timer on the left, I'm using a screen recorder so it tells me how long I've done. I want to keep this under at least four hours. Only kidding, <laughs> uh, about five minutes I guess. But I'm just scrolling down so you could actually see all this. Most of this you don't even have to look at if you don't want to. Uh, you've got um, smart folder, that's a great folder. So anything you highlight will um, basically come the color of your choice and also go into the smart folder. So if you've got, as I have, four email accounts, the minute you tick it, it goes into that smart folder. So you can actually open the smart folder and see emails from any or all your accounts. You have what's called an alias account, which is fantastic, again, for subscriptions. And, it, and if you want to send an email uh, to someone, you're not sure if you're going to be uh, hacked or they're going to bo bother you with a load of phishing mail later on. Security. You can use two uh, 
times authenticity. I can't say the word. You know what I mean? Uh, authenticity uh, as well. The message view. You can have it auto fit. By that, I'm talking about uh, the text reflow. So as you make it bigger, you do not have to scroll left or right. It automatically fills the page. That is fantastic. Uh, not many uh, email apps do that. And the other thing that I personally like is um, it does contact group emails. Uh, even Google, who invented, not invented, but on their Google contacts, you can have groups. So if you've got a social group that you meet every Monday and you've got 20 people in that, you call it a name Monday meeting and you can send an email to that group in one go without them seeing who the other members are for security purposes. Uh, most email apps don't do that. So by the time I looked at other email apps and narrowed down that I want a choice of colors, etc., etc., um, there wasn't that many left. Um, you could have a conversation view. Um, as you can see, it just goes on and on and on. And I'll just open up what this email account. This is an email account that I don't use for anything. This is one that I do use purely for subscriptions to things that I'm a little bit interested in. So occasionally I open up this email. The reason I'm showing you this one, obviously, there's nothing secure on this. But by pressing the volume button, it makes it smaller or bigger. I pressing up that also applies to the text once I'm inside an email on the left are those little circles if they were known uh, if you take the Z if they were a known contact that would have their face on it if I had them in my contact group with their face um, so if I just open up one and as you can see this is not a known contact but the minute I tap that the images come up, it's instant, fast, and again, if I show you the text reflow, by pressing the plus button on the volume, it goes bigger, but I haven't lost any of the text. I do not have to scroll left and right to read the whole sentence, or going down. So in other words, if I were to use just my fingers to zoom in, you can see then I'm going to have to read it left and right, which is not really practical, frankly. And a lot of emails do not offer you that option. Signatures. Um, are, here I've got four accounts. You can change the signature to anything you want. You can add your images, links. It's very, very sophisticated if you want to use it that way. If you don't, it's dead easy to use. You just fill your name, email address, and password, and you're up and running, and you can just choose a theme. I think there's four or six automatically built in fabulous email app. If you want me to go into really more details, let me know and I'll do a whole tutorial on it uh, in the comments. And if you think you have a better email app for Android, I'm always looking at new things. Uh, just put it in the notes and uh, your comments and I'll look at that. Hopefully this was of some use to you and helps you choosing your email app. Um, I think that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.